digital electronics students, project 2.4.1 date of birth or the birthday problem. Remember your truth table to your displayed birthday will be all different. So the example I'm going to use is one I can um, hopefully provide a quick tutorial on in 15 minutes or less from truth table to K mapping to multi-sim. So we're going to give it a try. So for your birthday, hopefully you've completed the seven segment outputs for all the segments. This is one example of someone born on February 13th, 2010. You have to use your own birthday. The example I'm going to use is slightly different. So we're going to jump to here. This student is born on 03-03-88. And the first segment I will provide a KMAP for is segment A. So here we're going to put segment A. Remember A is the top one, so you should just look when the top one's on. It's on there, on, on these, there, on and on. Then you have to do your KMAP. So your KMAP here Transfers over, zero, one. This one, zero here goes here, and then you have one, one. Then you have to come up with your segment A logic expression. How do you come up with that? You group them in two. Here's a group of two. Here's a group of two. And here, here's a nice group of two here. So. The yellow group of two is not x, y, not x, not y, or y, z, or x, not z, x, z, not. So that is your segment A logic expression for this person's birthday. I'm going to take you through something quick here. It just so happens sometimes you might have duplicate logic equations for different segments. So if we look here, let's look at segment B for this particular birthday. B is this segment here on all the seven segment displays. And if you write down the truth table for segment B, it is on for the zero, it is on for the three, it is off for the dash, it is on for that zero, it is on for that three, it's off for the dash. For the year 88, they're both on. As you can see, the output for B is the same as the output for A, therefore the K map would be the same. So this is the same for segment B equals not X. Why not? plus y, z, plus x, z, not. Furthermore, if you look at this particular student's birthday, segments C and D, segment C will have a very similar output along with segment D, the bottom one. So this student got very lucky where he can use the same logic expression for four segments of the seven segment display. Just so happens the student was born on a fortunate day for the birthday problem in digital electronics. Okay? So, for this student, A, B, C, D are all the same. I ran out of room. Just trust the instructor. Now, let's go to segment E. So, here we're going to do segment E. Segment E. Segment E is this guy. So, here it's on. It's off here. It's off on the dash on right there, off for that three, off for the dash, and on and on for 88. 
This might look similar to segment F. Just so lucky. F is the, the upper left one. On, off, off, on, off, off on the dash, on there, and on there. As you can see, the K mapping for segment E and F will be the same. So how does this work? So just look at one column, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. So where did the K maps come from here? Got a group here, group two here, and we got a guy flying solo here. So segment E equals X naught, Y naught, Z naught, or do this one, X, Y, or this one, Y, Z, which is also the same for segment F, because if you transfer this column into a K map, you should end up with the same logic expression. Okay, so this is good for E and F. Lucky birthday. The segments flash at the same time we're flipping these XYZ switches. Last one we should probably look at is segment G. The dash G, segment G, off here, on for the three, on for the dash, off for zero, on there, on there, on for the eight, and on for the eight. So how do we K-map this? The zero and one goes here, one zero the second row, one one bottom row, the last one one goes in the third row. Where are the groups? Here, oops, let's use the highlighter. Here's a nice group of four. And then we're going to make a nice group of two. You get to overlap it there. And then this one could go in a nice group of two here. So what do we get? Segment G, logic expression. This group of four, the only variable that stays the same is X. The magenta highlight group of two, what stays constant is Y, Z naught, or Y, Z naught. Or the yellow, what stays the same, is Z and Y naught. So Y naught, Z. So now you have your seven logic equations. So fortunate this birthday has three unique equations for the seven segments. It's all good. I'm going to show you the AOI and or inverter multi-sim for this, but for maximum points, one of the segments has to be exclude all NOR, and one segment has to be controlled by NAND. But I'm just going to quickly run through the AOI for this on multi-sim. So what you should do is get a new design on multi-sim, right-click, properties, workspace. I would pick a bigger workspace like letter C, so you have a lot of space. If you need more space, you can choose um, a bigger size, but I think C size is all right. I would immediately file save as this. Remember, this is your unique birthday problem. Uh, make sure you know where you're saving these files. Let's go 2.4.1, last name, birthday problem. Now, our goal is to kind of make it look like this with your birthday. So the basic stuff are you need um, power source, you need a VCC 5 volts, place that in the upper right. You probably also need a digital ground, not the wrapper, but close, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to flip this horizontally, or vertically. Uh, basic, you need switches, three switches, SPDT would be good, okay, just put three of them here like so, one, oh, whoops, you could copy, 
copy paste. Control C, Control V, copy paste them. I would highlight all these, rotate them clockwise so they look like this. Yes, this is correct. Let's make switch one your X switch. Remember the three switches we're using are X, Y, Z. Make this Y. Okay, make this Z. Remember you can make this as neat as you want. Okay, this is here to help you. Oh, I'm sorry, you should probably flip these. Vertically. You want the two prongs on the top. So, let's connect the right side of the switch to the ground. Okay, it's all grounded. And then the left side of the switch to 5 volts. X, Y, Z should be flipping the switches. Now, let's do a TTL. Make sure we're on the 74 LS over here, 74 LS 04 for the inverter. Hit, okay. We're going to use three inverters here. One, B, C, cancel, close. Let's rotate these clockwise so they point downward. Now, what we're going to do is place an indicator, probe. Let's do red. Okay. We're going to put these at the very bottom over here. So probe. Okay, one, put two red probes on the bottom, two, three, close. So what we're going to do here is we're going to flip these vertically, move them down as far as you can. And then what we're going to do is connect them to that the inverter over here. Oops. Then I want three more probes that are green. Just put them right in between the reds. We're going to flip these. Hold control and click them. Flip these. Oops these vertically. Connect these to the exit side of the switch. So, oops, wire this there. Come on. Wire this there. So we're creating your bus lines for X, Y, Z, and X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. Then the entry side of the inverter, you could connect them to the exit side of the switch. So basically you should have six probes down here. X, Y, Z, X naught, Y naught, Z naught. So then when you pull from these, you could pull from your logic equations. Um, let's use a common cathode Indicator, hex display, 7 seg com K, use any color, I'll just use yellow just for the sake of this, let's just put it over here. You also need a digital ground, 
because it's common cathode, it has to be connected to digital ground.